everybody, my 1971 Fall Classic Baseball Replay. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Fast Action Deck. So the Fast Action cards in the game to kind of speed it up, keep it quiet. So let's pull a card. Charlie Williams is up against Jim Nelson. This is New York against Pittsburgh. Top of the third, no score. And... Um, this game was played 1971, June 22nd, 1971. It's a Tuesday. Second game of a three-game set, I believe it is. All right, so it's the third inning, and we're going to pull that 66. That's a 66, and it's a 1-16 to 16 walk. We'll look at the number right underneath it for the D20. It's a 7, so that's a base on balls. So... Jimmy Nelson, both pitchers are seized, by the way. He's going to walk Charlie Williams... The Mets pitcher, and there's a runner on first base. Next is Bud Harrelson. What we're going to do here is we're going to bunt with Buddy Harrelson. So we're going to have to pull a D6. Well, actually, we're going to pull two D6s, so we're going to still use the D36. So let's do that. And here it is. And it's a 5-4, and he is a 5, so that's a good, it's a good bunt right back to Nelson. Nelson's going to have one play, and that's the first. So runner in scoring position now. So good job by Buddy Harrelson. And here comes Mike Jorgensen. Jorgensen had about 100 at-bats, played 45 games in 71 with the Mets. Hit five home runs in, in about 120 at-bats. So that's pretty good over the course of the season. He would hit, let's say he got 600 at-bats, he would have 30 home runs. So he's got good power. And he's hit about four already, I believe, four or five on the season. So far in our replay, he's got uh, 27 at-bats and already hit four home runs. So he's way ahead of schedule. But he has been hot, and he hit three home runs in one game, by the way. All right, so Jimmy Nelson against uh, Mike Jorgensen. Jorgensen plays first base, left field, center field, and right field. He's got poor range in the outfield. He's got even poor range in the infield, so he's not a very good fielder at this point. I think he improves maybe later on. Not sure. Let's pull a card. We're going to look at column three because it's the third inning. And we're looking at the top number first. It's a 31. That's a blank there. We go to the pitcher Nelson. It's a single. And we're going to see how the advance, uh, if the runner will score from second. If center fielder's arm, Al Oliver's arm is a W, he will advance. An A or an S arm, we can risk. Let's check over here on the side. We'll check Al Oliver's arm. And he has an S arm. So that'll be a 1-5. to five. He's out, and he's safe on a 6, so we will hold up. I'm going to give Williams the red light and hold him up at third base. So it's a single for Jorgensen, and with one out, it's first and third. Charlie um, uh, Cleon Jones is up. So the defense right now, early in the game, we're going to try to minimize the damage here. We're going to play for a double play up the middle, but the corners are going to play in. See what happens. Here's the pitch to Cleon Jones from Jim Nelson. It's a 13, and a 13 will be a 1-8 to eight base on balls. Anything higher is a K. We're going to look at the D20, and it's a 4, so it's a walk. It falls within the 1-8, to eight, and the bases are loaded, and here comes Steady Eddie Cranepool. Cranepool's having a terrific season so far. He started off, he was struggling, but then he Got on a tear, and he's batting 331 now. And so I like to use fast action cards late at night so I, I don't make, you know, any noise. Um, all right, so the bases are loaded. Again, we're going to play the same defense, looking for that double play up the middle with uh, Hernandez and Cash, double play depth. But in on the grass is Hebner and Davalillo, who's the first baseman today. And uh, the outfield is straight away for Cranepool, maybe uh, a little bit towards right field. Cranepool is a, is a, a uh, pull hitter. And uh, here goes. Here's a pitch from Nelson. And that's a 53. Now, that's usually a range check. It's going to be a range check. So we're going to pull a card and look at range. 53 says second baseman. So Cash is... All right. So it's going to be 
to the second baseman, Cash. Now the question is, will he get to it or will it get by him? All right, will he get to it or will it get by him is the question. And let's see. We're going to pull a card. And we're going to look at the D20. And it's a 12. So let's see what Cash is range rating. Cash is a 10, so it does get by him. So we said it was a single to right past the second baseman. And two runs will score on this. And Jones will make it to third. And Kareem pulls on it first, picks up two RBIs, and the Mets lead it 2-0 here at uh, Three River Stadium in Pittsburgh. All right, Kenny Singleton, same defense. Again, in uh, at the corners and halfway up the middle. And that's going to be a 54. That's a 54 uh, call. So with runners on, men on base, it's an 8. Jimmy Nelson is an 18, so that's going to be a wild pitch. And that will score a run, and Cranepool will go to second base. Singleton is still up. Now we're playing straight away. It's a 13, and that's going to be an out. What kind of an out? It's going to be a line out. It's going to be a line out to the second baseman. We could get a double play on this. And we need a 2, 3, and 12, and 13. And now it's going to be a 15. So it's going to be a line out, second base. No double play. Two away. And here's Kenny Boswell. Kenny Boswell is another one who was hitting 400 for about a month. And uh, now he kind of uh, came back down to earth and he's batting 284. Batted uh, in actuality, batted 273. Here's a pitch from Nelson. That's a 55, and that is ripped. That's a rip for 17, which will be ripped for a base hit to right. And will Crane pull score? Let's find out. It says he does score. So it's an RBI single for Kenny Boswell, and the Mets are up 4 to nothing. And it's Bob Aspromonte. And here's a pitch. It's a 15, and that'll be an out. It's a 7. It's a fly ball to... No, it's a 17 fly ball to left. And that'll retire the side. Mets pick up four runs in the top of the third. And that's kind of how you use the fast action cards. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And um, Tony Porter cards and Dice TV fall classic.